Hi, this is Kathy with Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. Wasn't quite... Sorry for that. Sorry for the echo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wasn't quite sure what to call this project tonight, seriously. Um, but sometimes a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And I'll explain in a little bit. It's been a very trying day for me today and for mom. It's just been a rough day. She hasn't felt well. The dog's been sick. It's just been total craziness. But it was me. I was thinking of something that happened a few years back, and I want to tell you a little story about that, which leads me to a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. I'm going to use this canvas panel, and it's just a plain little inexpensive canvas panel. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to quite hang it yet. Um, I'll decide when I'm done, and I'm open to any suggestions, any and all suggestions. All I really did with this was take a little sponge sander and sand it a little bit to diminish the canvas. This is a canvas panel and it has such canvas, it has some texture to it. So I wanted to smooth it out, so I gave it a light little sand and um, just wiped it off with a damp cloth. Okay, so that's all I did with that. I am coming from you live from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line, let me know where you're viewing from. Um, I don't even know how to describe the day that I'm going to tell you about. It was, it, it had a lot of emotions mixed together and it was a difficult day and it was a happy day and so many things together that I really don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure I'll, I'll never forget it and forget how I felt and whatever else. And that basically brings me to the project that I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to use two different transfers. One is called the F-bomb, the other is called maybe chocolate, and I'm going to mix and match components for the two of these to basically make my point and tell my story. It's actually my mom's story more than it is my story. Many of you know that my mom had a stroke um, a number of years ago, and occasionally You've even been privy to hearing this in the background. Um, <clears throat> but let me just get started with this. I'm going to cut these apart. These are our transfers. They are not stencils. They are transfers. They're silk screen, which is the, t I'm sorry, they're vinyl, which is the teal, and silk screen you're seeing through the silk screen that goes through the whole piece to the um, white carrier sheet behind it. Silk screen gives us the ability to get very nice clarity and definition. These transfers also are adhesive backed and they are reusable. So I'm going to just give these a little, cut these into different pieces because I'm not going to use the whole thing on this project. And our transfers um, that are multi pieces come with cut lines. So you can just cut across the cut lines to cut them into the pieces that you want. And I'm using our transfer trimmers, which has an extra long blade, which is great for cutting our transfers. And also somewhat like a Teflon coating so that um, the adhesive doesn't stick to the, to the blades. Hi, Deb. How you doing? We're doing good. It's, uh, well, you know, it's been a crazy, crazy day. Anyway, um, so I'm doing this this little project in oh I don't even know what to say in honor of remembrance of or whatever just something I was thinking about today because today was the kind of day it was uh, when my mom was in the hospital after her stroke she had a rather severe hemorrhage and um, she was in a good hospital where they took very good care of her and everything but she was in ICU for about three weeks and then in neuro for about a week 
and along the way, um, because of the whole issue of a stroke, um, there's different things that they have to do. You need to be able to pass a swallow test to be able to eat. They won't give you food to eat unless you could actually pass a swallow test. And my mom actually had been medicated to do an MRI to check for the bleeding and to make sure that it wasn't causing pressure on her brain. So they sedated her so that she wouldn't move around in the, in the MRI machine. And um, because of that, um, she didn't wake up, I mean, clearly wake up for over a week and she wasn't eating. So it was kind of um, dire circumstances um, to get her to eat. Let me digress a little bit. I've taken um, an old shimmer, shadow, old, old shimmer, oh, white shimmer jar and added a little bit of white um, chalk paste to it because I'm going to use this to make mix up some colors. I was going to use my chalk tray, but when I realized, ah, my jar's empty, maybe I'll get a little of that shimmer out of there would be good. I did put a little bit of distilled water in here and actually thin this down too much, so I'm going to add a little bit more paste to thicken it up and let it set a little bit. But anyway, um, so before you can eat, you have to pass a swallow test. And it was apparent very early on that my mom had lost her ability to speak. And um, she's a very, always has been a very social lady. So I knew that that was one of the things we had to work on first. I mean, yes, we needed physical therapy to get her to stand and walk and, you know, whatever, and occupational therapy for her arms and da-da-da-da-da. But I knew that she needed speech because if she couldn't talk, she wouldn't be happy. So anyway, as the days progressed, um, they couldn't do a swallow test until mom woke up enough to actually pass the swallow test. And um, you know what, I'm gonna pour a little bit in here just to let it dry out a little bit, being that I added too much water. Um, anyway, so she couldn't pass the swallow test, so they weren't giving her any food to eat, which was a scary situation and um, when she finally woke up enough they had a speech therapist come to administer the swallow test and one of the things that the speech therapist wanted to give mom to swallow um, was the applesauce and I explained to her oh no 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 my mom absolutely hates applesauce and she does she's still to this day just cannot tolerate it she's never ever liked it and the speech therapist said, well, that's okay. We're going to give it to her anyway. <laughs> well, anyone knows that knows my mom would know that's not going to fly well with her. But she couldn't speak. She could say my dad's name. She could say her first name. She could say the word chocolate, which was interesting. Um, but she couldn't say my name, and she really couldn't say too much else. So... When the speech therapist started um, giving her things to try swallowing, mom resisted the, um, the applesauce and shook her head and backed away from the speech therapist. And the speech therapist just pretty much continued trying to shove the applesauce in my mom's mouth and I told her mom doesn't like it she's not gonna she's not gonna swallow it she just won't do it she absolutely hates the applesauce and the speech therapist just persisted and um, I don't want to give this away too quick here let me mix this up lighten up my paste I'm on a real light I'm using cranberry jam in my bright white and I want a very light, pretty pinkish, kind of mild, like a ladylike little color here, if you will. And then I'll actually get on with the project as I'm telling my little story here. Let me clean my fingers. You mean stubborn? Oh, no. Oh, my, my, my mom's not stubborn. <laughs> no, she is stubborn. She's feisty. She's a feisty little Italian lady. Um... That sometimes could have the mouth of a sailor. 
Um, as a child, she, I don't, I mean, I do remember her swearing when she was upset, but not a real lot, not, you know, not excessive, not anything, you know, whatever. Um, when she would uh, be upset with us kids every now and then, some Italian words would come out of her mouth and we always assumed that they were swear words. Um, they weren't necessarily as, you know, one word she used to, uh, I think it's scatta or something like that. I don't go by my pronunciation, but it means burst. Um, and she would use some words, but we always thought, assumed she was swearing, but it doesn't mean that she really was. But anyway... Let me grab my fuzzing towel here and get started on this project. <clears throat> so, oops, I took the wrong thing I want in case of emergency. Um, I'm fuzzing my transfers, which means I'm putting a little bit of lint on the back of the adhesive to, dimi oh, to dimension. You know what? I really don't need to fuzz. I'm going on canvas. I'm not thinking here. canvas being kind of like fabric. Just going to lay this down, smooth it gently, and apply a little bit of paste. Oh, I don't have my multi-tool here. Aha, let's see, I'll have to use this. Um, so anyway, sorry, the mine just hopscotched there for a moment. So anyway, the speech therapist is persisting in giving mom the applesauce, and I'm saying, no, she doesn't want it. She's not going to swallow it. She hates it. And mom's shaking her head and trying to get away. I mean, she's in a bed, and she doesn't have full movement or anything yet. And she's kind of trapped there with this woman trying to shove the applesauce in her mouth. And other than shaking her head and trying to scoot away from her, she really didn't have many options, right? Okay, let me lift this off. Oops, I didn't get the eye really good there. Let me come back over here. My squeegee's a little wider than this um, transfer, so I want to be careful not to go off the edge here. And always don't pull up by the corner. I'm just trying to grab the edge to lift it. You never want to pull or tug on your corners because you could potentially stretch your transfer. Okay, that's good. It's a nice, pretty, ladylike pink, which is what I was angling for. Maybe I'm not going to do that one yet. Hang on. Let's see what I want to mix up and what I need to add in here. Um, let's do this. <laughs> I wouldn't change her in any other in any way either, Deb. My mom is a character. She is. Um, she would. She'd give her shirt off the back. Her shirt. Her shirt off her back to anyone. She has, um, how would she say it? She always has worn her heart on her sleeve. She's very emotional and very um, loving and caring, but she's also very strong, sometimes obstinate, a force to be reckoned with, but a very, very loving lady. Um, I'm going to do the little bomb in my cranberry jam. So, did I hear her getting up? I told her I'll be real quick, Mom. I'm going to talk about you a little bit and do this little project, and then we're going to watch a little TV together. And I hear her getting up. Anyway, um, so mom was kind of trapped there. She couldn't get away from this woman and she didn't know what to do and she couldn't speak, right? And at this point, we don't know if her speech, her lack of being able to speak is due to um, just that her brain has forgotten her words 
or if there is a physical cause because you know a stroke can affect muscles and um, you know your cognition and your math ability and a whole bunch of different things your ability to read and your ability to speak to speak of course but your ability to speak may be because of the stroke affecting that area of your brain that handles speech or it might actually be because it's affected the muscles in your mouth or your tongue or whatever so they don't always know so hence the the idea behind um, doing a swallow test to make sure that a person is not going to choke. I mean, it's, it's safety. It's based on safety, and I, I can't blame them in that respect. I mean, I understand it, stood it, and I understood it then. I'm going to darken my pink a little bit here. gone a little bit too dark or maybe not oops and I just stuck my finger right in it while it was wet there's it's my normal kind of thing I have a tendency to do that um and yes I should have plugged in my dryer and dried this so that I could move on with it. Our paste takes about five to eight minutes to dry. Um, our shimmer is more on the eight minutes. Our regular paste about five. And basically I want to go back in here and add some additional words to this without smearing what I've already done. So mom's trying... Uh, oh, well, hang on. Let me grab a paper towel and some water and see if I can wipe that up quickly before it stains the canvas. I did not wax this or anything. I generally don't wax the canvas. Okay, there we go. So that did not absorb in, so that's good. But I should actually clean my fingers a little bit before I continue here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to be dragging this out. <clears throat> well, needless to say, Mom found her voice. As she's backing away and trying to get away from the speech therapist and keeping her mouth shut and shaking her head, I think she did mumble no, but it didn't stop the therapist from trying to pry open her mouth and shove the applesauce in. Um, Mom found her voice. Hence, the girl. sometimes a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. She basically said no. I told you no. Get the out of my room now. <laughs> and I was so happy to hear her voice. I was embarrassed. I was shocked. I laughed. I cried. I was so grateful and so happy to know that her issues with speech were not muscle related. It was the area of her brain that handles speech. But I was also dumbfounded because how could this be? How could she be speaking right now? Where had her voice come from? And the speech therapist told me something I found very, very interesting. She said, we use a different area of our brain when we're upset. How do you like that? So in our normal speech patterns, we use one area of the brain, but when we're angry, we use another. So mom, he had the ability to speak, but basically only if she was angry normal conversation she didn't have the words 
And we worked really hard and she found her words and has got back most of her speech. Every now and then she'll mix up things when she's upset or nervous. But that day just blew me away. I was so happy and so grateful to hear her. I didn't like her being upset, but she made her point to the speech therapist. So a girl sometimes got to do what a girl's got to do, right? Okay, I'm going to set this aside for a bit and clean up my transfers, get the paste out of them. I am using the highly pigmented um, Cranberry GM, and our paste, especially the highly pigmented, will have a tendency to stain our transfers. It does not impact the usability at all. They just don't look as pretty and as pristine as when they're brand new but the staining in no way affects the usability of the transfer. So I'm gonna use one of our board erasers, which helps eliminate staining, and I'm just moistening it and going over the transfer and basically scrubbing the paste out of the silk screen. Scrubbing's really too harsh of a word, actually. Removing the paste from the silk screen. <laughs> And this actually works best underneath a, a running faucet in your sink is the perfect way to clean your transfers, especially with a little board eraser. But being that I don't have a camera over at the sink, I have to do it on my surface. So I just clean all the paste off the top. I'm going to flip this over, clean my surface, my mat, and then I'm going to clean the back of the transfer and get all the paste out of the silk screen. And if I had fuzzed this, I would remove the fuzz by basically, I usually go like in one direction across my transfer, picking up any of the lint that it might have picked up from my fuzzing cloth, and that really renews the adhesion of the transfer. And then I'm going to set it aside to dry. Always set your transfers on a flat surface. If you're using a bunch at a time, cookie um, drying racks or cooling racks work great. Set it up sticky side up. And then when it's dry, put the back or the side with the glossy side down on the adhesive side of the transfer. And then put it back in its little case or its little envelope for future use. Remember, our transfers are reusable 8 to 12 times or more. Oops, and I have my other little piece over here. Oops, it'll wait. I need to get the F-bomb right. So we're, I'm not really condoning swearing as such, and yes, I swear, and yes, I've used the F-bomb. Um, I didn't swear as a teenager or a younger person, actually, that came with age. But um, while I'm not necessarily condoning it or recommending it, sometimes if you need somebody to really pay attention, you just have to do what you have to do. There was no other way that mom was going to get the speech therapist to back off in essence and I really don't know why my mom has such an aversion to um, applesauce but she still does she'd always make it with pork chops and other things like that or pork roast or whatever because my dad loved applesauce and us kids liked it but she'd never touch the stuff I need to slow down a little bit. I just want to make sure the silk screen's clean. And yes, this is it's been sitting on here for a little while, so I'm gonna have some staining, but like I said, the staining does not impact the usability as long as I get the chalk paste out of the silk screen. And you could always um, set it up towards the light to make sure that the silk screen is clean. See, I had the paste on here too long. If I had cleaned it immediately, I would have diminished a lot of the staining. But it's fine. It's not going to hurt the transfer. Let me go back over the adhesive side to make sure I get all the chalk paste out of there. Okay. Let me set this aside to dry.
Ooh, I'm making a little bit of a soupy mess on my surface. Almost done cleaning. This is the last strand piece that has to be cleaned. And then I'll put the last piece on this project and we will be done. I'm thinking of maybe adding some beads or something to it as a little hanger. I'm not quite sure what I want to do in that regard quite yet. Let me find flat surface to lay this on. Okay. Clean up things up a little bit. Oops. Get this out of there. I don't want that to get crunched. Okay. So this looks like it's dry. Let me do the last segment of this. And then I want this in the cranberry jam. Clean off my squeegee. It's not perfect, but it only has cranberry jam left on it, so I think I'm fine. So yes, it was a day filled with a lot of, it was stressful and I was scared, and but I was so happy and so relieved to hear her swear. And yes, I was embarrassed, but overall I was happy, just so very, very happy. So there you go, in case of emergency, maybe swearing will help. I would not encourage this for children. Sorry, whoops, I just put my lid on top of my transfer. But in the case of my mama, it was the only thing she could do to get someone to take her seriously. If you are not a member of my VIP group and would like to be privy to bundles, special pricing, some games, and some other fun things, drop the letters VIP in the comments below and I will send you the link. If you'd like an hour full of an hour of creative bliss showing on your doorstep, showing up on your doorstep once a month for just $19.99, you should join our Club Couture. Club Couture gives you an eight and a half by 11 transfer. This is not club, but this is the size of the transfer. And three individual paste packets with free shipping once a month. And because our transfers are reusable, you can make a project for yourself and then make it for a friend and make it over and over and over again because our transfers can be used eight to 12 times or more. And I've had people ask me, what do you mean by or more? Well, you know what? It really depends on the adhesiveness of the transfer because they're a little bit more difficult to use once the adhesiveness diminishes to the point that they don't stick, but you could still use them. Hold them in place with some a washi tape or, or um, I can't think what our tape is called. Placement tape. Anytime you want to cover a part of a transfer and you don't want to chalk it, you can put our placement tape right over it 
and then you don't inadvertently chalk an area you don't want to. How cool is that? Also helps for positioning and he has a little printed ruler on it for measurements, so that's kind of great. Well, this was fun, a little bit different from my norm, and like I said, I'm not encouraging anyone to be foul mouth, but like I said, sometimes a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, and my mama did it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. See you soon.